I honestly thought we knew about this Easter egg like a year ago or more. But I guess we're going to talk about it again because it's new. Okay, so most of you have probably seen it recently um, if you're re-watching the MCU or if you did leading up to Avengers Infinity War that Iron Man 2 features quite an interesting Easter egg. It's very fast. It's when Tony Stark is in the courtroom and he decides to pull out his phone and, you know, uh, mess with Justin Hammer's tech. And in the corner on the far right-hand side, we see the logo for the folder that says Illuminati. Now, of course, in the comics, the Illuminati are a top-secret group of superheroes that have been put together to more or less, uh, you know, protect everything and decide upon, like, the most hardcore, you know, fate of the universe, if you will, if it really comes down to that. And a lot of the people in there are associated, obviously, with uh, the likes of the Avengers or the Inhumans, uh, Namor, for example, Black Panther, Captain America, Iron Man, you know, Beast, for example. They're in there. Um, and essentially, these guys have to make the toughest call that could uh, have ramifications for the entire universe. Now, the folder in the movie, I think it's just kind of there. I think it's a fun little Easter egg that they want to put in there, and I don't think there's anything more to it. But then again, depending on how Avengers 4 goes, and depending on if the, you know, uh, the actual Infinity Gauntlet is surviving in some manner, if all the stones survive, maybe they're going to do what they do in the comics and take some of the stones and put them in different, you know, locations to be protected. Which could make sense, and in that case, you'd want to build a team that's going to be very trusted and entrusted with handling such a powerful thing. So the Illuminati would obviously be a good choice. Now, if this is going to happen, who knows? Um, I would hope so. I certainly would hope so because that would be kind of cool. But I don't think it leads to anything more than just having that little Easter egg. Because I don't think we get an Illuminati movie. Uh, just why? It wouldn't make sense. But I think you could realistically form some Easter eggs down the road where things like that, where, you know, where maybe they do meet up in a couple of movies. They're like, all right, we got to decide what we do about this because we know Galactus is coming. Do we tell everybody? Do we just hang on? What do we do? That's a good way to do it. So I think in that way, you can make the Illuminati work. But I don't think they're franchisable. Just because you already have so many different franchises and it essentially be an Avengers movie at its core. So what's the point? 